Approaches to learning, helping students learn how to learn. What are approaches to learning? Approaches to learning or ATLs are skills designed to assist students in learning how to learn. These skills enable students to be able to inquire deeper into their learning journey. They are intended to be used as a tool which provides a common language in which teachers and students can communicate effectively when reflecting on student work and building on the process of learning. ATLs are categorized into five groups. These are social skills, research skills, thinking skills, self-management skills, and communication skills. Let's take a closer look at each ATL. Firstly, social skills. Some examples of social skills are accepting responsibility, in which students need to take on and complete tasks in an appropriate manner, respecting others whereby they are making decisions based on fairness and equality, and cooperating, where they work cooperatively within a group. Resolving conflict, whereby students react reasonably to the situation and compromise, Group decision making in which students work towards and obtain a consensus and adopting a variety of group goals in which sometimes students may be the leader in some circumstances and in others they are the followers. Research skills. Some examples of research skills are formulating questions in which students have to identify something one wants or needs to know and ask relevant questions around this. Observing in which they're using all of the senses to notice relevant, in, relevant details. Planning in which they are developing a course of action and collecting data whereby they are gathering information from a variety of first and second hand sources. Recording data, describing and recording observations. Organizing data, students can source and categorize information. Interpreting data in which students draw conclusions from relationships and patterns that emerge from data. And finally, presenting research findings where they effectively communicate what has been learned, choosing appropriate media in which to do so. Communication skills. There are many different ways to communicate, such as listening, and here we listen to information. Speaking, in which we express ideas clearly and logically. And reading, in which we read a variety of sources for information and for pleasure. Writing, in which students record information and observations. Viewing, in which they interpret and analyze visuals and multimedia. Presenting, in which students communicate information and ideas through a variety of visual media. And finally, through nonverbal communication, recognizing the meaning of visual and kinesthetic communication. Self-management skills. Self-management skills are abilities that allow us to control our thoughts, our feelings, and our actions. Examples of self-management skills include gross motor skills in which we use our large muscles and this involves a lot of strength. Fine motor skills in which we use delicate muscles and this centers around the use of precision and spatial awareness. Sensitivity to the position of objects in relation to oneself 
or in relation to each other. Organization in which students are able to plan and carry out activities effectively. Time management in which students are able to use their time effectively and appropriately. And safety, avoiding placing oneself and others in danger or at risk. Other self-management skills include a healthy lifestyle in which nutrition, rest, relaxation, exercise are thought of and worked around, practicing appropriate hygiene and self-care. Codes of behaviour in which students apply appropriate rules or operating procedures of groups of people and making informed choices by selecting an appropriate course of action or behaviour based on fact or opinion. Thinking skills. Examples of thinking skills include the acquisition of knowledge by gaining facts, ideas, vocabulary, and remembering in a similar form. Comprehension is the grasping of meaning, communicating and interpreting this meaning through learning, and application by making use of previously acquired knowledge in practical or new ways. Analysis, in which students separate the information they have gathered into parts and are able to see the relationships between these parts. Students can also find unique characteristics between the information they have gathered. Synthesis, in which we combine parts to create holes, creating, designing and developing information as well as input. And evaluation is where we make judgments or decisions based on a chosen criteria, standards or conditions. Dialectical thought is where students understand different points of view. And finally, metacognition is thinking about how one thinks or learns. Thanks for watching!